this first IKEA hack, you are going to need some sort of like metal netting or metal mesh. You are also going to need some plain pillows, fabric dye, and lastly, you are going to need a glass container. You are also going to need some botanical origin laundry detergent. This stuff is plant-based and it is absolutely amazing. So a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. So I actually found when I first started this out that this metal netting doesn't work the best. So I'll show you guys the alternative a little bit later, but I started off by taking my pillows and just kind of twisting them up to be like loose cinnamon rolls is what I would say. And then I just put two different versions of hair ties on each of them. And that is all you have to do to start this DIY. And then I ended up using my pasta strainer. Now make sure you use a stainless steel pasta strainer if you're gonna use a pasta strainer, but I think this worked amazing. So you put the pillowcases in there and then you cover it with ice. So we are actually tie dyeing these pillows using ice. I saw this online and I did not think it was gonna work. And let me tell you, it worked amazing. So now you're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle the powdered fabric dye on top of the ice. And you are just gonna sit back and allow the ice to melt for a few hours. So this is actually where my Botanical Origins laundry detergent came in and made this DIY perfect. Even though it's plant-based, it cleans just as well as your traditional detergent. It's not only got rid of all of the excess fabric dye, it left this pillow smelling amazing and got rid of all the fabric dye odor. So when I originally saw what the pillow turned out, I was really worried because it was super dark and I really wanted to get that excess fabric dye out because it is actually supposed to be a light gray color. So shout out to Botanical Origins for making this DIY project perfect. So this is also dermatologist tested and it's hypoallergenic. Fun fact about me is that I suffer from over 40 different allergies. So I was so happy to discover this detergent and a product that works. This is also a vegan formula and the detergent and fabric softener are not tested on animals, which is amazing. You also don't need to pay more for this plant-based detergent. As you can see here, look at all the fabric dye it pulled from that pillow. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. And I also tried some of the fabric conditioner just to kind of soften up the pillows because the texture can be a little bit on the firm side. And this is a finished product. So I cannot say enough good things about the Botanical Origins laundry detergent. Everyone needs to go try it out. I will link it in the description box down below. A huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. And fun fact, both product bottles are actually recyclable and the fabric softener bottle is made using 25% post-consumer recycled plastic. All in all, an amazing product and you definitely need to try it out. It's also formulated for all water temperatures, including cold. So it's gonna work with your regular washers, high efficiency washers, and even for hand washing, which is amazing. And lastly, I just wanted to tell you guys that it also comes in two scents that are just amazing and very like natural and relaxing. So click the link down below in the description box. You will not be disappointed in this detergent. So for this next Ikea hack, I'm actually using a piece that I already owned. And that is something that I really wanted to do this year specifically was upcycle and really use things I already had. So one fun thing that you can do with Ikea furniture is you can add your own hardware. Now they do sell their own hardware in the store, but I definitely recommend getting it other places sometimes. It can be a little bit more unique and you can really make it fun and like dress your piece up. So here, all I did was take my drill bit and I created holes. I actually used the tape trick. So I just taped on where they would go and then drilled in the holes and removed the tape. And there you go, I added two gold handles. I also wanted to do something about the feet on this piece because they didn't have the matching ones when I bought it, they were on back order. So I got black ones and I really didn't like it. So I found these super awesome ones from Amazon and they look so good. So all I had to do was remove the black ones that I already put on. Now you guys will see that I did have to go ahead and screw the new ones in. But a fun fact about Ikea furniture is you can pretty much add any of these after products to the pieces quite easily. As you can see here, I didn't create any damage to the actual piece. I just screwed in and they don't go through the actual item at all, if that makes sense. So you're free to add whatever you want and it came with these screws 
So this was a super simple and easy way to upcycle this piece, especially because like I said, it was looking so plain to me. I already had the mismatched legs to it. I definitely wanted to find something that would really change it and switch it up. And as you guys see, this project is so simple. Anyone can do it, even if you're a beginner. All you need is like this one tool. This entire project took me five minutes to complete. And as you can see, it looks so much better. I really wish I could figure out how to fix the actual doors. As you can see, they cave in at the top, which makes the handles look a little bit uneven, but it's actually the doors itself. So if you guys have any tips on how I can fix that, let me know in the comments down below. But I just went ahead and styled this as I normally would in my entryway with a candle and my plant and my woven artwork. And I think this piece looks so much better. Another one of my favorite things to do when I'm in Ikea is shop in the kids section because oftentimes you can find pieces that you can switch up and make them look adult friendly. So I went ahead and just took out the bright blue piece in this package and I spray painted it just a matte black and that immediately kind of took away the juvenile look of it because it's supposed to be like a book display or magazine holder. It was perfect for what I was looking for. So very simple and easy to assemble. I think the assembly on this took me just a few minutes. I would say about four minutes to complete. And when I was done, I was like, I just wanted to add a few black accents to it somehow. So I just grabbed some macrame that I had lying around and my hot glue gun and I just started gluing. And I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do to be honest when I started this, but I thought I was just gonna go all the way across, but I actually decided to make a design. So what I did was I wove the macrame on the bottom a few inches over and then I switched it and I did that on the top uh, little piece of wood, just kind of like alternating. It will make sense when you guys see the finished product of this, but I just went back and forth and then again, secured it very simply with my hot glue gun. And again, this project took probably max of 15 minutes but I was able to transform this kid's book display magazine holder into something that just fit better with my aesthetic. I will definitely use this and I love the way it turned out with the matte black at the bottom instead of the bright blue. Perfect alternative. Again, you can use anything from the kid's section as well. So don't forget to let me know in the comments down below any pieces that you guys would like to see in my next IKEA hacks video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And please don't forget to check out Botanical Origins. They will be linked in the description box down below. And again, a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.